So uh, we created Zagil as a courier company, like FedEx, Aramix. But the, the different thing is that we're based on crowdsourcing or the individuals, normal individuals. So, and we started internationally. So if you want to order any product from any, any place in the world, let's say you want to order a product from the US, you go to zagil.com, right? And you put the website of the item that you want. This is the product that I want. And someone will bring it to you from the US, a traveler. And in return, they get a commission that you specify. So you can say, I want this T-shirt from US. This is the address, the website. And I'll pay $10 for the person who will bring it to me. And this will be listed on the website. Then someone traveling from the US coming here, they go on the website, they start picking the items that they can bring and it, they will see how much commission they will make. They just bring it, deliver it, and they take the money. Uh, we're an escrow service. We take 4% with a minimum of $4 from the price of the, each item. Yeah, And uh, this is safe because uh, the way we do it is that as a buyer, you pay us in advance. So you pay for the product before we list it on the website. This is how we guarantee. And the traveler from the other side, they buy the things on their own. So first they know what they're buying, all right? And uh, the delivery is guaranteed because they want to get their money back, right? So we guarantee. So once we tell them that, hey, we got your money in advance. So once you deliver it, you will get your money plus commission. Suppose I buy something from the States. Yeah. Then no one checks in and decides to get it from me. What happens? Yeah, that, that, it's a marketplace. I mean, we, we try to push travelers, put some incentives. So if you put, if you, let's say you put an, um, an item, and this happens to us. Uh, first, uh, some people uh, order things that are heavy, and some travelers don't want to buy it, all right? So uh, we, have, we, we tell the buyer that, hey, five people or 10 people saw your item and they didn't put any offer. So maybe, uh, maybe the commission you're putting is too low, so maybe you can uh, put more commission. And from our side also, we push it by giving more incentives to the travelers, more points and more rewards so that they bring it. The idea came from on my way back from the US. I usually don't buy things. I buy things for friends and relatives. But uh, I was having so many stuff and a friend of mine was like, can you take this with you? And I was like, I have many things. So it's like, why don't we share back together? I'll just pay, it's an extra bag is $100. So I'll pay 50 and you pay 50. And I was like, yeah, that, that's, that's great, you know? So I did that, and when I came back, I found lots of my friends, they're using services like Shop and Chef, and it's very expensive, it's still expensive to get things from US. So I thought, and I have other friends in the US who they and their wives, they bring stuff and they sell it when they come to e Egypt, all right? And they make money out of it. But the thing is, they spend too much time from their vacation trying to find buyers. So I thought, why we just create something that's in the middle, we just get these people together, especially that you hear it all the time. People saying, hey, do you know someone coming from the US? Do you know anyone coming from UK? I want to buy something to bring it with them. So this is where IA came from. Why don't we just create a, a platform or a website that people can come together and they can ask travelers to bring things for them. Okay, our plan now, we're building a community of travelers. And now we're raising funds because we want to build uh, the trust between the community and we want to build a large community base of travelers. Uh, now we're focusing in, about, uh, on travelers in the US, all right? So because this is the biggest market for us, for people to buy things. So we want to build a community of travelers between US, Egypt, Dubai, uh, United Arab Emirates, Saudi, Jordan, and Turkey. Then we will exp open it to other countries as well, like UK, and other countries where people order things. And then we will move into each country and create our own local courier network. So inside Egypt, for example, if someone orders in Alexandria and the traveler is coming to Cairo, or maybe uh, they wanna, people want to send stuff between cities, then we will have also couriers inside each, inside each city. With the same concept. Right? With the same concept, exactly. So now it will be faster and cheaper for, the, for everyone because you have travelers going between cities and between countries all every day, right? So imagine the capacity that is, no one is utilizing. You can just take something with them. Why is it called Zagel? Okay, Zagel comes from the name of the bird, the uh, pigeon, 
that used to carry messages. It's called Al Hamam Al Zagil, or Al Hamam Al Zagil. So this is where the name came from. Okay. That's, Thanks. You're welcome. And uh, one more thing, I wanted to uh, mention that if you're a traveler, just go on the website, register, and start adding your trips. Just try it out. We will send you a newsletter, an email, with uh, if you're traveling to Dubai or Jordan, just put the trip date, and we'll send you email saying these are things that are wanted in these cities, and this is how much commission you're gonna make. So just try it out, you're not gonna lose anything, just put your trips on Zagil. Thank you very much.